Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video here, we're gonna be doing a top 10 bases, uh, base locations. We're gonna start with the early game bases and then we're gonna lead towards uh, late game bases, meaning like the first bases we're gonna be showing you are ones that are gonna be good for when you first start the game. And then we're slowly gonna work our way towards bases, base locations, for later in the game. So starting off, chances are you already have a base that is uh, that direction. That's the starting area. After this tower location, there is a fantastic base spot right next to it. This spot on the map is gonna be located right here. The beginning of the game is right here. Now the reason that this base spot is so good and the reason any base spot is gonna be good in this game is gonna be based on a few factors. The first factor is, is it flat? And the reason you want it to be flat is because the Pokemon or the pals, sorry, um, they don't path very well up and down during d different levels of terrain um, or a bumpy terrain or, or trees even. They can get stuck or glitch or fall into the, through the map or fall into a crack or, you know, it's, you're going to have issues like that happening a lot of the time because this game is not, you know, polished it's there's a lot of glitches there's a lot of things that can go wrong so the flatter the base the more you know smooth everything's gonna work in your base and also um it just organization wise number two um want it to have an ore in there so basically you you need to make sure that there are materials being gathered by your pals the main thing that you're gonna want early on is ore most important thing from level one to like level 30 is ore basically you want to get ore so in this spot here we actually do have an ore rock in it hey future Ruby coming in here while editing this video I noticed I didn't mention the third thing that kind of goes into choosing it whether or not a base is good is usually whether or not it is rateable now some of these bases I didn't get a chance to test I will show you guys whether or not it is rateable or whether or not I don't know if it's rateable that pretty much wraps it up for this spot all right, coming in at our number two spot, uh, this is a location that obviously it's not that amazing. And the reason I'm having to put this into the video is because when I was playing the game, I actually really enjoyed having a base in this location. This was my second base. So um, from the first starting location, we moved here. This is where um, I built an entire base here for a really long time. I had a base here and there aren't any ores in this location. So that's why I'm putting it so low on the list and, and why I don't consider this as the best option. But I do think that the location is really cool. Um, it's very flat, which makes it just like an awesome spot in general. Uh, there's a black market uh, guy in this uh, mine shaft right next to it, um, which is really cool because if you want to sell your Pokemon or buy Pokemon, it's right next to your base which makes it just extremely uh, convenient. And uh, that's one of the bonuses that I had during the, my playthrough for like oh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much my entire playthrough, I was in this base. So the raids usually come in from this side on foot um, and on air, they come around the mountain over to the other side here. But uh, th there is there is one raid that comes through the water right here for some reason, and they get stuck right here. And it's actually super easy for your Pokemon to just clear the entire wave with like one or two attacks because they all kind of just stack up in that one spot. Coming in at our number three spot, uh, this is actually a phena phenomenal, ph phenomenal. It's a phenomenal spot, all right? No, it's it. this base location is insane compared to the previous ones. So this is like really not that much further on the map from, from the spawn point. So obviously the first base it shows you is right around here. Uh, second base was literally like right next to it. And then if you just go north from there, there's gonna be this area that I'm in right here. And this honestly, it like kind of shocks me as how at, at how good this is. Now, I don't know why I didn't build a base here, but anyway, there are a ton of ore rocks here, literally like eight of them and one coal which having ore and coal in one spot is is honestly like it's crazy so this this spot is really really phenomenal i might move this like i would if i could i would move this up to the late game base locations but it's 
super easy to get here early game um you just have to be right around level like 13 15 or so to be able to run past the level i think there's like level 20s over here and a tree with skill fruit on it right next to your base the only problem with this base is that it's not super flat and by flat i mean like it's not like like if you have if you have all these ore rocks spawning there's not a lot of room for like other stuff if if you want the ore to to spawn you're not going to be wanting to build you know in the same spot as that ore rock so notice how like i can't build this uh piece unless it's not where the rock is so like if you want to build stuff um in this area you're gonna have to avoid these rocks and if you don't if you if you mine the rock and then build where the rock uh, spawns there's a really high chance that it's not gonna spawn Just keep in mind that this is probably more likely a secondary base and not like your main base all right so coming in at number four this base spot is what we ended up this is like, I think our third base that we built it's a pretty cool base spot it's on this plateau uh, surrounded by water which makes raids um, almost like non-existent I feel like water pretty much stops a lot of the raids from even happening um, and the reason this base is so good is number one it's flat number two there's two ore rocks in within the confines and I think just like a regular rock a couple regular rocks um, and then there's like another ore rock that spawns like just barely outside of the circle but yeah it's, it's really flat and also there is also another tree over here with skill fruit um, that spawn nearby as well but yeah the base location is right here it's to the left of the spawn location or to the left of the starting location uh, one of the ore rocks spawns right here and in order to get two ore rocks in the circle, I had to make sure I placed my um, pal box in a really specific spot because the other one is right here on the other side. Um, but yeah, you can get the two within the circle and yes, they do farm both of them. Coming in at our number five spot, we have this base right here located straight north from the plateau of beginnings, the starting spot and once you get to this location you're gonna see two possible base spots if you need more coal i would build it over here on this side there's coal and one uh ore over there that you can get and then on the other side there is a bunch of ore so you could build the base right here on this area and then maybe build you know platforms below it or something of that variety now i don't really like this spot because it's not very open or wide open but it's for the most part it's kind of raid proof it's like half and half raid proof um if like raids do spawn they usually spawn like down below and they get stuck and don't know what to do this spot's pretty good other than the fact that it's, it's a little it's a little bit cramped i mean at our number six spot when i originally saw this spot i thought these were uh coal rocks but they're actually stone so it's not as good as i initially thought it, it, it was uh, but it is really good a house two ore rocks it's extremely flat it's very wide and very open um, which means like if you wanted to build a whole city around your base this would be the place to do it you're gonna find this base right here it's on the far uh north west island um it's this big you know wide open sandy looking area on the map uh coming in at number seven spot more of a later later game base spot because you i think it does get hot in this location sometimes um so you have to be careful of that but it is very flat it's on the coast right here right across from a starter island um and you have coal right here and you have ore and that's what makes it so good is that I'm pretty sure you could get the coal and the ore within the circle here which means you'll have two um, different materials being gathered all the time I know it's not a lot but it is nice to have both and it is nice that it's very flat so coming in at our number 
eight. Why am I doing the finger thing? Coming in at our number eight spot, um, we have three different base uh, base options in this area, and I couldn't decide on which one. So I'm gonna just leave all three of these different spots. Um, the, the north one here, the middle one, and the southern one but it's all in this icy area and the reason like i put this up here in, in the number eight spot is because it's not actually the best end game base location because you're you, obviously you have to deal with the cold so if you have like warm armor or a warming a uh, warmer barrel thing on your base to keep it warm uh it should be fine but obvious obviously you're dealing with the high level monsters in the area um each one of these locations has different benefits so i'm going to go to each one and just do a brief little like showcase of each one these three spots are all very similar so this is the southern spot that i found and it's going to have a bunch of uh quartz that you can mine and one ore so if you're looking for a base with a load of quartz on it there here it is it's on a little plateau it could just be a little home away from home all right, so here is the middle base location here, and it's you know the same kind of a thing. There's two ore rocks on this one instead of one, and it's got a load of quartz again. And it's you know I, I'd say it's a little bit better because there's less trees, so it's not quite as annoying to deal with the trees. Here is the final spot up in the north area of the ice region this has a tree that spawns i think rare you know uh skill fruit it has a chest spawn it is not flat though which means it's really honestly not a great base spot in my opinion but it is a cool location if you can build a base here or somehow manage to create a functional base in the comments if you do use this spot oh and there's also a uh, a dungeon here as well i might even just jump in here right after this Coming in at a number nine spot, literally the best spot on the entire map. I've looked everywhere. There is nowhere that has this much ore and this much coal in one location. Now, it's probably not going to be the best spot for your main base because it's a little cramped. But this is the perfect base to have as your second base just for gathering materials. And that's it. It'll help massively um, for late game. So... Anyway, so this is the base location on the map. Uh, I'll zoom out here. It is straight north of the Plateau of Beginnings. Six coal rocks and seven ore rocks all in one spot here. Just a quick little example of this spot and how well it can work. I've only been standing here for like one, one round of them farming this spot. So I picked up, obviously I picked a bunch of Anubis to speed things up. Let's check out, check and see how much coal they got. It's pretty good for one run, 600. And on this side we got 600 ore. So hopefully it came in handy for you guys as much as it has been coming in handy for me. If it does, drop a like, don't forget, please. It will help so much. Coming in at our number 10 spot, this is gonna be my favorite base location for my main base it's it's my current main end game base location it's where i can build all of my you know just like have all of my functioning you know base stuff happening without a ton of materials but at the same time it's a it's more about the location that makes it so good this is one of the best spots because it has a tree and it has a rare tree at the end of this cliff here there is a tree that spawns skill fruit and those skill fruits are going to be blue or purple all the time um it also has no issues with the cold because this spot is is a neutral zone in between the hot and the cold right here and you're not going to have any problems with temperature based on what you uh, where you decide to build on this cliff you can choose to have different amounts of ore so there's a double ore one over here that might be better if you're trying to get more ore i built mine next to an ore and a quartz there's another ore and a quartz right here 
Um, and there is a double ore and a quartz right here if you wanted to build your base a little closer to this cliff right here. Hey yo, future Rovi here. So basically all I wanted to mention was I did actually find a spot that is really awesome uh, post, you know, recording the top spots. Um, and I just wanted to throw this one in there as a bonus. So if you stayed to the end of this video, here's a bonus spot. Um, it actually is really, really good. So um, if you see right here, there is a teleporter mount fl uh, floppy summit and the spot is actually right next to it. There is a ore uh, spawn here and a coal spawn um, right here. So you do have one ore and one coal, many rocks here, uh, some trees. And then the coolest part about it is that not that far away, if you look down this cliff here, you are gonna have a sulfur spawn. Uh, wrong cliff, oh, right here, right here. Sulfur spawn right on down there, not too far away. So you have all the uh, different, you know, materials available to you that will be respawning. Even though it's just one of each, it's still really nice to have all three in a pretty tight location. I haven't yet found a spot that has a coal and an ore and a sulfur all all in the same you know radius of a base. So if anyone finds that, please let me know so I can include it in a future video. Please let me know which base spot you chose or which base spot is working for you. This helped you guys in any way if it did hit I'll hit me with the like uh, it'll help me out so much to get likes on this video thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed